Welcome again to Cooking Around's channel. Welcome, welcome. And today, another special request, an octopus recipe. And what style is it going to be? It's going to be Portuguese style, octopus stew. It's going to be absolutely awesome. So, let's get going here. Ah, here it is, the octopus. Nice and fresh. Now, I know it looks horrible and some people are saying, Oh my God, why are you putting that on this recipe channel? But you know something? It is absolutely awesome. It's going to be absolutely tender, not chewy, not hard. Just trust me. If you don't like the way it looks, there's really not much I can do about that. But it's going to be awesome. Okay, now that you got the octopus washed, put some paper towels down and let's put the octopus down just like this and we are going to dry it off. Trust me, it is a lot easier to work with it when it's not so wet and slippery. Okay, here I have about three pounds of octopus, uh, a little less than a kilo and let's take one of the tentacles or we're going to just call them arms and let's take the tip off. Now you can use that or you can toss it. As for me, I'm going to be using it. Now let's start cutting up these arms. Now what? Two, three inches pieces like this. Some are going to be thicker, some are going to be thinner, but don't cut them too small because believe me, it is going to shrink during the cooking process. So, you know, we're going to cut up all the arms just like this. It gets easier when you have a good sharp knife. So I'm going to continue to finish these legs and I shall be back. Okay we're down to two pieces here so let's above the eyes let's cut the head or the bonnet or the sack whatever you want to call it. And on the tip here you're going to find there's a little bit of gut here so just cut it off like that that's probably the brain I assume and just toss that you do not want to use that so now let's get the sack open and just slice it you know any way you really want it make the pieces not too small again and I shall work on this and I shall be back now let's work on the bottom part here. Now here we have the head and yes a couple of eyes. So we need to remove that. So just between this bottom part and where the eyes are take your knife and just cut it off just like this. It's going to be sometimes a little hard. And see this? We don't want to use this. Just toss it away and now the bottom part. You're going to notice right down the bottom of the center there's a little black thing that looks like a mouth. That needs to be removed. And here I'm removing it right here just like this. Just cut around it and again toss this. And now what I want you to do is just chop the rest of the pieces and basically it is all cut up and ready to go. So let's get moving now. Get your pot heated up. Let's add four tablespoons of good olive oil. Let's make sure it's hot once again. And now I want you to take one medium onion diced just like this. And I want you to keep it going here for about two minutes and I shall be back. Now make a little opening on the onions just like this. And I want you to add three tablespoons of tomato paste and what this is going to do this is going to give a good rich taste add four cloves of minced garlic or more add one small cinnamon stick add two tablespoons of your favorite hot sauce and here I'm using PD PD now add some fresh ground pepper and add as much as you want. Now let's stir this and incorporate it all the way around and we're going to let this go for about a couple of minutes and once again I shall be back. Add about one teaspoon of hot pepper flakes and now let's add some salt but just a dash or two. You don't really want to put too much at this point. Now add one cup of your favorite white wine don't want to use any wine no problem just add one cup of water with about two or three tablespoons of white vinegar 
Now add one tablespoon of dry thyme. Now mix in your octopus pieces into the mixture just like this. Give it a couple of stirs and I want you now to bring it up to a simmer and then I want you to lower the heat, cover it and I want you to let this go for one hour on low and I shall be back once again. Okay it's been one hour and it's been simmering away. Let's open it up and let's take a look. Oh does that look great and boy does it ever smell good. And look at these pieces. Absolutely awesome. Are we finished now? No we're not. Okay, let's taste it and see if you want to add more salt, more hot spice, whatever you want. This is the point to do it. Now, as for me, this is absolutely perfect. Now, to complete our stew and to make it perfect, let's add one pound of peeled chopped potatoes and put it into the mixture just like this. Now, leave it uncovered. I want you to let this go for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the potatoes are tender and I shall be back. Okay it's been almost 30 minutes and look how this has thickened up because the potatoes have released their starches. Now grab yourself a spoon, grab yourself a potato and stab the potato. If it is soft and if the fork goes through the potato with ease, you know it's done. Now add one heaping tablespoon of dried parsley or fresh. Now let's stir that around. We're going to leave it uncovered for another, what, 10 minutes? And once again, I shall be back with this awesome recipe. Well, I'm back. Just take a look at this. It's absolutely awesome and the octopus is not chewy it is tender and it is soft and it's absolutely gorgeous with these potatoes you need to try this serve it with bread or whatever you want so all I can say now is thank you very much for allowing me to present this recipe for you and your loved ones and your friends I hope you enjoy it I hope you make it over and over again and I will see you again on my next cooking recipe Goodbye now.